You've seen him on Comedy Central. He's open for the likes of Celine Dion and Keith Urban. And he's the host of the streaming TV series, A Comedian Crashes Your Pad. Get ready for some Teleco Village humor with Greg Schwem. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, man. Very good evening to Teleco Village. It is so exciting to be back here. I have to say, before I start, though, I uh, uh, I just had to quick poll of the audience here. Um, by show of hands, how many people saw me the first time I was here? Oh, okay. Very nice. Thank you. Put your hands down. How many people have never seen me before? All right. Good, good. And because this is an over 55 community, one more question. How many of you can't remember if you saw me the first time? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought. People have different ways and very creative ways of being safe during the pandemic. Like I did a show out in San Diego a few weeks ago and they had this uh, they had this wristband system. So you wore a color of a wristband depending on how you felt about being around other people. For example, like if you wore a green band, no this is true. If you wore a green band, that means you were very open to contact, you know, touches, kisses, hugs, late night hookups, the whole thing, okay? <laughs> If you wore a yellow band, that meant you were still a little cautious, you know? So it was like, you know, fist bumps and elbows, that kind of thing. Red band meant six feet apart, no exceptions. This system works. I know it works. My wife and I have been using it for the past 25 years. <laughs> Here's a fun thing to do in hotels. Next time you guys go to a hotel for either like a business conference or a wedding or any event where you're all staying in the same hotel, do this. Try and convince people you have a much better room than they do. It's really fun. It's really easy to just walk up to somebody and go, hey, have you checked in yet? Yeah, um, are both of your fireplaces working? <laughs> We can't commit to dieting. Everybody who diets, you know what we always do? The first thing we do before we even start the diet, we establish a cheat day. How stupid is that? <laughs> I mean, you're trying to quit smoking. You don't wake up one morning and go, oh my God, I thought three pack Sunday would never get here. <laughs> Woo! Tar and nicotine come to Papa. <laughs> I downloaded one of these calorie counting apps. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. Because you know what? They want too much information. I whip out the app that night. It's like, what you have for dinner, Greg? Well, I had lasagna. But that's not good enough for them. They want to know, how much did you have, Greg? Did you have a big bowl? Did you have 600 grams? Did you have a plate? I'm like, I don't know. It was in a pan. <laughs> you know how much I ate? A column. <laughs> Yeah, and then I was still hungry, so I had a corner. You do the math, will you please? <laughs> Anybody on a Nutribullet? Yeah, everybody thinks like, oh, maybe if I pulverize the food, there will be less calories. Let's try it now. I know I shouldn't eat this slice of deep dish pizza, but <laughs> hey, look at that. Now it's a smoothie. <laughs> I've been the same doctor for 25 years, and uh, he always asks me the same questions, the physical, in the same order. So I always know what's coming. And he always saves the big money question for the end. He always goes, Greg, how are things in the bedroom? And because I've been with him for 25 years, the answers have changed over the years. First time he asked me that, I said, glad you asked. I brought photos. <laughs> Number five is particularly interesting. <laughs> Last time he asked me that question, I said, well, we're getting free HBO. Um, <laughs> He says, Greg, I can write you a prescription for Viagra. I said, I hear Viagra is expensive. He says, I can write you a prescription for generic Viagra. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to go into a pharmacy. Hi, I'm cheap and horny. What do you have for me back there? <laughs> he says, or I can give you another one. This works a little different than Viagra. You take it every day so you're ready all the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the name of this drug is. It's called... Um, Oh, yeah, wishful thinking. That's it. So, <laughs> you are so nice to each other. I know this because I was on the website, too much time on your hands.com. I'm sorry, next door. And, uh, um, <laughs> you. <laughs> Here's a good one. 
I just heard a huge explosion. Anybody know anything? We heard it too. <laughs> Let's form a hearing club, shall we? Well, I could never own a boat, ladies and gentlemen, because I wouldn't know what to name it. Because people name their boats based on like a personality trait or, you know, how they're feeling or just something that popped into their head. That's why you see all those boats out there like, you know, smooth retiree and my golden years. If I use that logic, my boat would be called horrible decision. <laughs> You know, hey, anybody want to go for a spin on what the hell were we thinking? <sighs>I have a show called uh, A Comedian Crashes Your Pad. I go around the country and I stay at Airbnbs and VRBOs and I, I, I riff with the owners and so forth and explore the town. And people say, well, where can you find that show? Uh, it is on cable. It's a little difficult to find. you got to scroll down a little bit. Uh, last time I checked, it was right in between World's Toughest Convents and, um, <laughs> and, and Wild Breastfeeding Moms. Okay? So just check it out. It's a great show. Thank you.